Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week one in the NFL, and right now we are talking to returning guest, industry veteran Big Al McMorty from BigAl.com, and he's going to give us uh, his thoughts on Indianapolis, Denver. Al McMorty, thanks for being back with us. Always good to be here, Peter. All right, Al, I love I love doing NFL calls with you because there's a certain kind of analysis you do that that you do better than anyone I know, and and I find it very illuminating. It's like let's say there's like two teams that have been going like under, you know, for a few weeks in a row, and then there's a posted total that's like not that low. And I look at the game and I think, oh well, they've been going under, but I think they're going to go under again. And then I do a call with you, and you give your technical analysis, and you say you like the over. The over is always a winner in that situation. So tell people a little bit about BigAl.com and a little bit about uh, what you do as a handicapper. Sure, Peter. Well, you know, I've been in business now since 1992, had, a, had tremendous success. I've won 39 handicapping championships over that time. We were ranked number one in the NFL two years ago. Last year in the NFL, 83 and 57. We ranked number one in hockey last year with the Sports Monitor, number four in the NBA, having a terrific baseball season right now. So it's just been a terrific year. Got off to a 5-2 and two start in college football last weekend. And as you kind of just alluded to, I'm a technical and situational handicapper. Right. And I don't always do it, but a lot of the times I will be taking, you know, ice-cold teams and or going against red-hot teams. It's just, you know, the way I've been doing things my, you know, entire career. And, and I look for certain situations, and when they happen, I, I, I tend to, you know, focus on those games. Well, I love to uh, match up your uh, your opinions and thoughts uh, with, with the public's opinion thoughts, and this is the perfect game to do it, right? Because uh, Denver is a team that last year the public loved to bet on, and the public loved to pound their overs, but the public won with them, right? Denver was a great bet against the spread last year, and uh, they went over in their first eight games last year uh, before the bye. Now they're a seven-and-a-half point favorite at home, totals 55 or 55-and-a-half, and I'll tell you what, Al, I'm a member of the public, you know, and uh, I haven't bet this game yet, but I'm thinking about it, and you know which way I'm thinking, right? Denver minus seven and a half, and the over 55. What do you think of those leans, Al? You might be surprised. I'm actually going to be right with you on Denver. Okay. Um, All right. You know, it's it's week one, and uh, you know neither Denver nor Indianapolis is hot right now. Neither one has played a game, but I, I think this, you know, even without you know Wes Welker in the lineup, I think this situation set up, sets up very well for the Denver Broncos. Last year, of course, they went um, into Indianapolis. They were favored by six points in that ball game, and they lost outright 39 to 33 to the Colts. The big play in that game was when Robert Mathis, you know, uh, stripped Peyton Manning of the ball, recovered in the end zone for a safety. They went on and ended up scoring 23 straight points en route to that victory over Denver. But that game was played at Indianapolis. This game is going to be played, you know, in the Mile High City and. That's important. Denver last year at home in Peyton Manning's first year was nine and one straight up, six three and one against the spread. It's tough to bet against Denver at mile high. And right now, Indianapolis is just an absolute mess. Yeah, you can focus on Denver's problems with Wes Welker, but you have to take a look at Indiana Indianapolis as well. You've got Robert Mathis, he won't be playing in this right. ball game. They just signed AQ Shipley from the Baltimore. Uh, Ravens who waived him and now he's going to be starting you know under you know at center so ball, uh, the Colts offensive line is, is dreadful right now and I just don't see you know them being able to keep up with the Denver Broncos offense and also in week one one of the things I like to do Peter is play on certain teams with revenge from a loss the previous season if they were favored by four or more points in that ball game of course I mentioned they were favored by six last year in that loss to the Colts and Denver falls into a situation that's 68% against the spread over the last 34 years, which plays on certain teams in week one, playing with revenge from a loss as a four-point or greater favorite the previous year. I'm all over Denver here. Sounds great. Classic analysis from Al McMorty. Week one NFL game, Denver minus seven and a half it is. Thanks so much, Al.